Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. And they had to go on the run. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick and they had to move on. The brothers made it to the home of their ancestors and the old wolves took care of them. Unfortunately, the hunters were hot on their trail and found them. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south. They soon entered the old forest of the giants, where they met a pack of stray dogs who worked in a secret farm. The brothers joined them and worked hard to stock up on gold for the future. They were happy to find others like them, and everybody loved the little wolf, who was growing up fast. His power was growing too. The little wolf was more and more confident and independent. The big brother loved having a new pack to prowl around with. He felt free for the first time. Suddenly, the mean farmers who owned the land tried to hurt the brothers. The little cub was injured. He transformed into a super wolf and destroyed everything. The big brother was badly wounded. And worse, he didn't know where the little cub was. Hey, Sean. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It was a bad idea. Daniel. No way. It's all good. I wish I listened when he tried to stop me from going with Finn. I was too pissed. It's okay, dude. You're my brother. And that's all that counts. So, why don't you come and get me? I'm alone, Sean. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Don't get so close to that edge. Please, come and get me. Yes, I, I swear. Uh, uh, stop! Fuck. Yay. Stupid reality shows. Yeah. Thanks for the card, Agent. Can't wait to text you. Can't catch shit. Zero depth perception. Goodbye, sports. Ugh, can't even focus on the page. This sucks ass, man.
so hard to focus. <clears throat> Gotta practice way more. Not giving up. <sighs> I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. I wish I could find a highway to freedom. Sure. <laughs> Good day, sunshine. Hey, Joey. Hey, man. That looks like it might have been food. Hard to tell. Ha ha. Never heard that before. Oh, somebody is in a bad mood. Sorry, Joey. Not feeling it today. Mm. I don't blame you. But maybe I got something to cheer you up. Pecans and chocolate? Uh-oh. There's that smile. <sighs> Thanks, Joey. So how you feeling today? Any headaches? Socket pain? <sighs> no. It's all good. Well, this is your final test before, mm, you know, before they check you out. Check me out to Juvie. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's see. You know the drill. Don't blink and just stare at the light. Yes, nice retina response. Okay. Now, try to follow the light as well as you can. Good, good. Keep going. Quick response. Nice. Sean, you got this. Remember, to see objects on your left side, you gotta turn your head more now. Yes. Looking good, Sean. Now try to align your pen with mine. I'll try. No rush. This is tough. Hey, good job. Okay, let's do it again. Damn, <laughs> you hit a double today. Your depth perception will always be affected, so you gotta try harder. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know. It's hard. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's enough. Too much stress on you and your eye. But remember... Your depth perception will always be affected. Hmm. Here, read this. Patient cleared. Send him right to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. I always hated that game. Well, I know it sucks for you, but... <sighs> It's time we release you. Sorry. Your vision has improved a lot. Now you don't really have severe side effects anymore. Yeah. That's just great. I do have to tell them the truth. But first, let's clean this dressing. Hey, sure hope you're watching the door like your phone. Oh, come on. <sighs> we ain't going nowhere. Great. All I do is watch them. Yes, true. Your job. 
Do you mind if we talk alone? Mind if I finish with my patient? He looks good for now, right? Just come back when I'm finished with him. Sure. I'll swing by later, Sean. Stay cool. So, how are you feeling today, Mr. Diaz? Amazing. Did you find Daniel? I want to go over this again. What? I've been telling the same fucking story for three weeks. How much longer? Until it makes sense. Until you get it right. So, silence isn't gonna help you now. Listen close, Sean. Tomorrow you're going to Jolina Shore and you'll be arraigned in court for the murder of a Seattle police officer. You might spend the rest of your life in prison, or you can talk to me. I'm innocent until proven guilty, right? And I believe that. That's why I want you to tell me the whole truth. It's just, I can't. Was Daniel involved? Is that why you can't talk? No, no way. And you're absolutely sure your dad didn't go after the officer? Yeah, he came outside, then he was killed. That's what he did. Just guilty of being, who knows. I hear you, but you're sure you didn't get upset and go after the officer? It happens. Jesus, no. Look at me. Okay, let's just jump ahead. Tell me what happened in that farm in Humboldt. The place looks like a tornado wiped it out. I've told you so many times. I have no clue why the place was trashed. I passed out. Plus two seriously wounded, along with you. And a missing child. The only statement we have is yours. Sean, throw me a bone here. Can't you see I want to help? So you haven't found my brother? We might have some leads. You can help by telling me the truth. <sighs> okay. Fuck. The robbery. Whose idea was it? His? Or yours? Huh? We all did. Meryl totally ripped us off. Not a good guy. That's what happens when you mess with drug traffickers. Daniel wanted to leave, but he's just a kid. And I didn't listen. Why didn't you try to get help? Go to the police. Oh, yeah. The police would help me. After they shot my dad and accused us of murder. Great plan. So Finn wanted to get revenge on Meryl, too. Your friend is learning the hard way. They didn't deserve it. We all make mistakes. Yeah, well, some mistakes are worse than others. By the way, we contacted your grandparents in Beaver Creek. They can visit you after you're transferred. Might be a while, but you do have a support group. We couldn't track down your mother, though. Sorry. Good. What about Daniel? You said you had leads. I said might. Uh, hold on. I gotta take this call. Sorry, Finn. At least Cassidy wasn't at Merrill's when it... blew up. I wonder what Merrill told the cops about the robbery. Sorry, Hannah. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Prison would fuck him up. Sorry about that. Okay. So what's going on with Daniel? You really have leads? Yes, we do. That's our job. The Bureau put his profile out over four states. So we are on the case. You lied to me. You have no leads. 
You have no fucking idea where my brother is. I don't lie, Sean. But you did. And your brother is paying the price. Fuck. You. I'm done. Anyway. Thanks for talking to me. I'll be back tomorrow to take you to Jolina Shore. Look out. I have to guard the guard now. <laughs> Love it. Sit down so we can get this show going. So, how did your interview with Scully go? You mean interrogation? Who knows? Maybe Detective Flores wants to help. Maybe not. I just can't trust her. After what you and your brother went through, I don't blame you. Aw, oh, this shit is all wrong, man. You've been out of the garden for three weeks now. We talk every day. I can see that you're a good person. But I'm not. I've done too many mistakes. I let everybody down. I lost Daniel. And I'm going to juvie. This is all bullshit. Now let's check this out. The healing is coming along nice. Just gotta keep it clean for the next week or so. Simple. That's great. Seen the shrink this morning? What did she say? Nothing I wanna hear. This will take time and rehab, Sean. You have to process first. Ugh. I can tell myself that shit. Clearly, I'm no therapist, but I've nursed patients with your injury. They all turned their anger into energy. You will too. <laughs> Plus, the glass eye tech is pretty cool now. <laughs> Things change, huh? Yeah. Stuck in jail is a big change. Can't wait. Sorry, Joey. I'm being a dickhead. Just bummed out. I know. I do. But I promise there's a treat coming your way. Now as for your wound, this is the last time you hear this from me. You have to clean it with sterile gauze and saline solution. Coat the area using the swab and cream. Then wrap it up with clean dressing. And you're the shit. Remember, you gotta do this. Four times a day. I won't forget. I'm sorry about everything, Sean. Wish I could have done more. Dude, you saved my ass here. You're the only one I trust. It really helped. Cool. I'm glad when I can make a ch... Oh, shit. Ah, emergency. I'm out. And no smoke break. Let's say our goodbye tomorrow. Oh, Sean, check out that towel. Got your name all over it. Catch you later. Joey, you are her boss. Okay, time to clear off now. This whole hospital is so quiet.
This is Gracie, dude. Don't freak out. Just get out. Don't think. Just keep going. Holy shit. Oh. Take a breath, dude. Okay, the guard is sleeping. This is your big chance, dude. That's Finn. No way. What is he doing here? Guess this is my room for the night. Fuck. What a mess. Flotis can now add Grand Theft Auto to my file.
All right. Careful. Man, I should have listened to Joey. This is a mess. Okay. Haven Point is straight ahead. Just a few more hours drive. Shit. It will never hold until Haven Point. She seems nice. Shit. Guess I fucked up her day pretty bad. Guess I'm kinda lucky I stole a smoker's car. Oh, come on! Did she interview everyone in that hospital, or what? I don't even know how long I should keep on using this for. Still with me, Sean? <laughs> yeah. Just... zoning out. Just don't do that when you're driving, my son. So, uh, what's the verdict on the new car? I know it's not a new board, but it's got four hot wheels. Thanks for finishing it, Dad. A perfect reward for your excellent report card. <laughs> I'm proud, Sean. You don't even bullshit me when you need cash. Hey, I'll try to be cool. No dad jokes, huh? I hope you're not too bummed out to go on a big road trip with your lovely papito, huh? <laughs> oh, please. You're the coolest dad. How could I be bummed? Excuse me. <laughs> Where's my regular, emotionless son? <laughs> I appreciate it. Think we can hang out for five days without killing each other? Hell yeah. Haven't done that since I was a kid. Miss it. So do I. Been too long since we went padre y hijo against the road. <laughs> Way too long. I love road trips. Good to hear. <laughs> By the way, boy talk. What's going on with that gin, huh? <laughs> uh, well, not much to talk about. That was like pulling teeth. Well, I've got a week to find out the truth. I just want to try out new stuff. I mean, figure out what I like, what I want, you know? Yeah, I get it. You're young, you've got time to settle down. 
Maybe you will. Eventually. <laughs> ah. Could that be Daniel? Hola. Hello. Everything okay, Lila? Oh, Daniel better not be giving you any sass. <laughs> nah. He's an angel. We went to the swing pool, and now we're making popcorn for movie <laughs> night. Yes! It's so cool. Hey, Sean. Don't crash the car. He's driving <sighs> real slow and safe. Like a grandma. Thanks for checking in. We'll buzz you when we hit the motel. Lila, you ready? Sounds good. And Sean, Jen wants you to call her <laughs> when you have time. Oh, ho, ho. sounds like someone is still thinking about you. Yeah, I know. Seriously, though, how are you really doing? It's too big, but... I miss you. I miss you too, my son. But this is all part of growing up. I know. I don't like it. I have total faith in you, Sean. You're a Diaz. You were born to roam and find your way home. God. I love you, Dad. Wish I would have told you more. You didn't have to tell me. You showed me. Oh, by the way. Oh. Hey, wake up. Huh? Huh? What? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing on our property? Huh? Oh, man, I crashed hard. Oh, yeah? Come on out, boy. Who the fuck is that? A fucking kid. Get out. Look. I'm leaving, okay? Uh, no you ain't. Step out, or I'll call the cops. You don't want that boy. No need to. I I'm leaving. Now. You deaf? I said, out. Ugh. We don't need cops to deal with assholes like you anyway. Listen, I don't want any trouble. Too late for that, boy. So tell us what the fuck you're doing on our land. I... drove for so long, I... I had to pull over to get some rest, you know? I swear, I had no idea this was your property. There's a fucking sign? Didn't you see it? I... was too exhausted. I guess I missed it. He's just a kid, and he's hurt. Look. Yeah? What happened to your eye? I... got into an accident. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Move it. <sighs> Please. I just want to go. Ho-ho. <laughs> What's this? Drugs? Yeah, for my eye. Oh, yeah. Did you steal them? Like this car? Listen, it's not what you think. Oh, I think it is. You ain't the first beaner we caught. Take his backpack. Dude, come on. Get it! Let's see what he's holding. So? Nothing good. Any money? Fucking toys, man. You still play with toys? Seriously? It belongs to my brother! Leave it alone! Whoa! You did not! That's it, boy. Get up. Up! Okay, Chad. We fucked with him. Let him go. He's got nothing. Hey. Hold on a sec, Mike. You speak Spanish, Pedro? Huh? What? 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 Hablas Espanol. Chad. So, Professor, how do you say, I'm a dirty thief? 
Soy un... Sucio ladrón. Soy un sucio ladrón. Nice. Sounds better when you say it. <laughs> this is fun. Now say, uh... I'm a dirty thief with one eye. <laughs> Soy un sucio, ladrón, tuerto. I can't say that shit, but it sounds good, Professor Bean. All I want to do is learn Espanol. Might be our official language someday, right? See, si, senor? So, one more lesson. How do you say, this is not my country? Este. No es mi país. Most excelente. Not bad for a car thief and a piece of shit. Uh, look, Chad, it's gonna rain. Let's go before we get soaked. Pick up all your trash and get the fuck off my land. And don't you come round here again. Ever. I won't. I'm leaving now. Move it, Chad. So the... the Wolf Brothers were split apart. The oldest wolf was badly hurt, but nothing could stop the wolf from following his brother's tracks. Okay. Still a few hours away from Haven Point. Almost there. <sighs> shit, I need a break. <sighs> Might be some shit. <sighs> Stop! Can't run for miles in this heat. Yes. Shade. Oh, man. My feet are killing me. Feels like hiking in hell. Oh, too fucking hot. 
shit, there's a truck coming. Whoa. Is he honking at me? He's topping. Uh, okay, uh, be cool. Just uh, see what he wants. Truckers can't be cops, right? Hey, need a lift? It's too damn hot to be walking. Yeah, thanks. Hold up. Jeez, what the hell happened to you? I ran into a couple of assholes who beat me up for no reason. Uh, I see. Happens a lot around here. Hey, Anton, you there? Everything all right? Yeah, what's up? GPS tells me you parked in the middle of nowhere. Just wanted to know what happened. I, uh... I had to make a shit stop. Over. <laughs> Too much information, but... 10-4. <laughs> you mean number two. <laughs> you owe me a beer for that. Over and out. Don't freak out. I... I wouldn't have picked you up if I cared about that hitchhiking law. Okay. Cool. So, you hungry or what? You look hungry. <sighs> I am. Thank you. As you heard, my name's Anton. Mm. It is good, huh? My wife packs the best sandwiches. <laughs> Messy. Best sandwich ever. Seriously. Thanks, sir. Anton. Anton. Right. What's your destination? Hmm. Haven Point. You've heard of it? Oh yeah. Straight ahead, about an hour. Take a nap if you want. You don't have to stay awake to be nice. Hey, don't worry, kid. I'm not a fucking weirdo. Just a boring trucker.
Last stop, Haven Point. Thank you so much. You just be careful out here. These people are kind of weird. Really? Okay. 10-4, good buddy. You okay now? Is it gone? I... I think. <laughs> Good. Scoot back inside now. Okay, Dad. Uh... Hello there. Is everything alright? Yeah, yeah. Um, don't worry. You here for the service? Uh... Not really. Looking for someone. Don't be shy. Everybody's welcome here. No matter who you are or where you're from. In his eyes, we are all equal. Plus, we have a pretty nice spread after the service. Stay as long as you want. Okay. Um, thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'm just a vessel for our reverend. Thank her. <laughs> Looks like you're here to see our new miracle, right? Sure. Uh, of course. Of course. So many new faces are coming to see him these days. He'll be here any minute now. Just come inside and see for yourself. Praise the Lord. That poor little girl. Oh, feel that cold air. Oh, thank God for AC. We are in trouble. We are in trouble. Can you feel it? So I'm not the only one. Amen to that. We are surrounded by false idols. A society run by greed and technology. Oh, shit. I will draw too much attention. Better try upstairs. Why do we bow to these machines? Faith. We hear that word a lot. But faith is not just a word, my brothers and sisters. Oh, no. What is faith? Remember Luke 18, 27. What is impossible for man is possible for God. Amen. With that righteous faith comes the salvation of your souls. Can you cross that invisible bridge to salvation? Do you want your soul to be saved, brothers and sisters? Oh, yes. You are not like all these sinners out there. So I never asked the Lord for a sign. Then, he gave me one. He spoke to me and told me that I was doing right. And to reward our great faith, the Lord sent me the ultimate gift. An angel. A child graced with the power of God. Yes. The miracle we have all been praying for, waiting for. Can I get a hallelujah? hallelujah. Do you have faith in his power? Do you have faith in me? Then please, 
Welcome our newest member and our latest miracle, the angel Daniel. Praise you, Daniel. Here is Daniel, oh, praise be the Daniel. prophet who was thrown to the lions by false prophets. But God saved Daniel so he could do his work. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Daniel was brought to me to deliver us, praise to guide us from the wilderness praise to our God. destiny. Now Daniel will reveal the true power of the Lord. messenger. Our flock keeps growing. I see more and more new faces. But this is only the beginning. You must spread the word. Oh, yes. Bear witness to this miracle. Thank you so much for coming. And God bless all of you. Amen. As our Reverend said, we do appreciate your kind donations. This helps us keep our church and to spread the word of God. Oh yeah, there's only a few tickets left for our picnic raffle next Sunday. Don't miss the child at another miracle. Any questions, please talk to me outside. Bless you for coming today. <laughs> Hi. Oh, uh, hi. I saw you out in that parking lot earlier. <sighs> yep, that was me. I like to be here too. We can see the whole room, and it's where a reverend mother teaches us classes. <coughs> Whoa. You okay? Need some water? Uh, and no, sorry. I'm just kind of sick. Oh, that sucks. Uh, that's too bad. Hey, what happened to your eye? Well, that's a long story. That's okay. My name is Sarah Lee. What's yours? Hello, Sarah Lee. My name is Sean. Good to meet you. By the way, can I ask you, you something? You are Daniel's brother? Really? He's always talking about you. Hey, uh, not too loud. Yes, I'm Daniel's brother, but I need some help. The Reverend Mother says we always have to help our neighbor. What do you need? 
So, can you take me to Daniel? Oh, yes. He's gonna be so happy when he sees you. He missed you so much for his birthday. It will be like a late surprise. Daniel, you're the living proof of their faith. And mine. I know you understand. I guess... I mean... Sean? Oh my... Sean! You came back! I knew it! You've grown up, and I know. Do I look older? What? What happened to your eye? Don't worry. It's okay. Did that happen at the farm? Because of... me? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. It's over, Daniel. We just gotta walk on. Does it... hurt? No. <laughs> Not as much as your haircut. Shut up. It's different. I kinda like it. Sean, I didn't want to leave you there. Nothing I could do. I was so scared. I even thought you were dead. And... It's okay. We're together now. Yes. So, are you gonna stay with us now? Huh? I... We still need to go to Puerto Lobos. But... We don't need to. We have a new home now. Look! One step at a time, Daniel. Give Sean a chance to process this. I'm sure this is all so overwhelming. By the way, my name is Lisbeth Fisher. We all prayed for your safe return. Sean, you must be a believer now in our Lord, too. Well, not really. No. So Daniel was wrong? Hmm. You can be honest here, Sean. But first, I need Sarah Lee and Daniel to grab the medicine kit. We have to take care of our new guest. This is a place of healing. Huh? Let's do it later. I want to talk to him now. Daniel? Now. Okay, Reverend Mother. Let's go, Daniel. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. Well, Sean. It's a pleasure to meet you. This is a real blessing today. You were away from Daniel for quite a while. I was in a coma. Of course. <laughs> I wasn't judging you. So what is your plan, Sean? This is a blessed family, and it would be good for Daniel to have you by his side. You should know that the Lord has big plans for him. God, or you? God, of course. This isn't Daniel's home. That's where I'm taking him. In Mexico. That sounds very selfish. He has all he needs, right here. Sounds more selfish to try and keep your main attraction. Judge not, lest ye be judged. Daniel will be staying here, whether you like it or not. Daniel sounds more like a prisoner than a guest. It saddens me that you see things that way. After everything I've done for him. I know why you're scared, Sean. That's because your heart's full of sins. I know about that poor man you beat down back in Washington, Sean. This is a terrible sin. And until you make penance for it, I can't accept you here. What? Are you serious? I'm sorry, my son. I'm not your son. And Daniel isn't gonna be your golden cow. Daniel, come on! Why don't we ask him what he wants to do? Do not touch me! What the fuck? What did you do? Nothing. Enough. You spilled blood. 
in the Lord's home. Sean! What happened? Your brother came in here, impure and acting like a criminal. But he can be saved, Daniel. I'm sorry, Sean. She's right. I will pray for you. Then, when you're ready, we can. She's trying to manipulate you. Let me lead you to the one true light that never goes out. I want to be your friend. You're crazy! Let's get out of here, Daniel. I want to stay. Just go. There's your answer, Sean. We're together again. So we can go, right? Come on. Get off me, dude! What? Daniel! <coughs> Let me go, <laughs> asshole! Daniel! They're not your family! Stop it. You just need to have faith. We'll be waiting. Daniel! It's okay, Sean. Sean. Daniel! <sighs> there you go. Satisfied? Now don't you ever come back! You're pissing me off. This is private property. I have a legal right to stop any intruders like you. I just want my brother. But he doesn't want you. He was brought here, and this is where he's staying. Next time, I will not hesitate to use this. Now get out of here. Daniel, hey! Daniel. Sean? Karen? You won't get him back like this. Let's go. Sean, what happened to your eye? Why the hell are you here? How did you find me? Well, um, I got a letter from uh, Jacob. He said you were missing. And that Daniel needed help. I believed him. Hmm, <laughs> so you finally decided to check on him. You know, Sean, sooner or later, we're gonna have to talk. Where are we even going? I already have a hotel room. You're gonna need to rest and clean that dressing.
Man. Didn't clean the pain away, but... <sighs> Damn. You look bad. Gotta change that dressing soon. Jacob, it's me, Sean. Sean? No way! I've been waiting to hear from you for months! So you, you found my note in your sketchbook? Yeah. Where are you? You have to come here, Sean. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Good. Listen, I, I can't talk right now. I gotta go. Wait! Daniel, how's he doing? Meet me tomorrow afternoon on Brandy Highway. There's a, a, a junction just above Haven Point. There's a, a, a wild mice ranch billboard there. I'll be there at four. Jacob, wait! I can't talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Please. Damn. He couldn't really talk. All this is so messed up. Let's just rest while I wait for her. If she comes back. Hey, sorry it took so long. The fucking store was packed. How you feeling? Nothing broken? Alter boys don't fight fair? Yeah. I'm okay. Double cheese, no onion. Right? That'll do. Got you some gauze and uh, antibacteria stuff for your eye. Mm. Hey, don't wolf that down. Or at least take a breath. <sighs> like you care. Sean. I do. <sighs> Come on, Karen. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple years ago, he didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where were you? Fair enough. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. I'm listening. How did you two survive alone on the road for that long? Dad taught me responsibility. He always wanted us to know how to take care of each other. Good. How did you go to Beaver Creek? You know, I don't have to answer your questions, right? You're right. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did and why, if you care. So, ask me anything. I don't want to know anything. Seriously, I think I already know exactly who you are. Oh, you do? Well, tell me, who am I? Just a bored, selfish woman who abandoned her family because she burned out. Sometimes it takes longer for adults to grow up, Sean. How? You had everything. I know. And yet, I was unhappy. I didn't have a choice, Sean. We only have one life. 
and I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. For years, I fooled myself, thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be, and that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. For what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel and Esteban. Oh, please. It's too fucking late for that shit. No matter what, you left your own kids and my dad. So don't even... I know it's too late. I just... I want you to know how I feel. Yeah. I still don't care. Jeez. Sean, whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Let's just get it all out in the open, see what happens. I mean, I get you wanted to leave and stuff, okay? But why would you ghost us like that? Not even a fucking birthday card. I just... I thought if I vanished you would all move on. But I wanted to contact you guys so many times. I almost did. But you wanted a clean break from us. I didn't want to be a part-time, pissed-off mother. Not fair to any of you. I left when Daniel was still very young, so he wouldn't remember me. Yeah, I wasn't that lucky. Oh, Sean, I know. Do you want to tell me how you felt then? Or now? I felt guilty that we weren't enough for you. No, no. You guys were the reason to stay. I left because of me. I hope I can make it up to you, Daniel, someday. I could start by getting his ass out of that church, cult, whatever. <laughs> whatever. You sound so... careless. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. It's why I'm here. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now. I couldn't live with myself. I gotta change my dressing. This thing fucking hurts. Sean, I know I can't change the past, or what I did, but this is about helping your brother. You gotta trust me this one time. No, I don't. Not after what you did. But yes, we have to be a team to rescue Daniel. We can do it. Okay. How? 
We need to get in touch with this Jacob. He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Well, I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these, just in case. Okay. Better take care of the eye. So, do you need any help with that? Yes. Thanks. So, you feel like telling me the story here? When we have time. Gotcha. Here, try this on. How do I look? Great. Thank you, Karen. Big day tomorrow, so we should get some rest. Yeah. I'm ready to get Daniel. Sure he's gonna show up? He better. He promised. Well, if he doesn't find us, we'll find him. I can't believe how much crap you guys have been through. Makes me want to punch in the face each and every asshole that got in your way. Yeah. Good thing we got to meet amazing people, too. Life on the road is all about that. The sweet encounters. Hope I can see them again someday. Oh, you will. So tell me about Daniel. What's he like? Well, he's definitely... special. Hope so. He's your brother, right? Heads up. Is that him? Yep. Wait here. Sean! What happened? What were you thinking, Jake? I didn't know where else to go. Listen, I, I saw Daniel come back to the camp that night. Like he was in shock or something. Then I heard all these sirens, and I got scared. I just, I packed a few things, I, I took a blanket from your tent, and we, we left together. I also kept the cash you made on the farm. Uh, it's in my car. Oh, so you took my brother and my money. Better me than the cops, don't you think? You have no idea. What he looked like when I found him that night, Sean. He was in bad shape, with a gunshot wound, and all by himself. I, 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 I couldn't just leave him there. So, you came back here after you escaped, but with a dazed little boy, and everybody was cool with that? Trust me, it was not an easy thing for me to come back. 
And, yeah, they took us in. That's what they do here. They take people in. Except they didn't want to take me in yesterday. I'm telling you to be careful with the Reverend Mother. She's waited her whole life for somebody like Daniel. The Reverend knows how to manipulate people. She's good at this. He wants to stay with her. Daniel has faith in the Reverend now. Did you even try to stop her? Sean, stop it. Why did you think I wrote to your mother? Ugh, come on. There's no way they're gonna let you take him away. Well, too bad. We're not gonna ask for their permission. You must be Jacob. I'm Karen. Hi. Okay. I don't know if you want to do this, but I... I have an idea. I think school must be over by now, but Lisbeth will stay at the church with Daniel for his special classes. That'll give us time to sneak into the compound before we get to them. I'll be on the lookout. Keep watch, in case it all goes to shit. Sean, stay on the walkie. Sounds like a plan. One more thing. I, uh... We have to get my sister, too. Sarah Lee. <laughs> really, Jacob? Come on, man. She's with your parents. I know. Please, listen, Sean. <sighs> She's not safe here. She's sick. They believe in everything Elizabeth says. And she says she'll cure Sarah with prayers. I know you understand, right? Damn, Jake. We need his help too, Sean. Okay, Jake. I'm listening. Lisbeth knows what's wrong with Sarah Lee. We just, we need to find her medical record. I think it's in her home office. Then I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Okay? Fine. Sure. I'm gonna trust you on this, Jacob. All good for you, Karen. What if Daniel won't go with you? He will. I know him. Karen? I'm in place. I can see the whole camp. Let me know if you need anything. Be careful, Sean. Got it. Thanks. We gotta be careful now. If anything happens, let me do the talking, okay? Yeah, of course. Let's get this over with. Okay. Elizabeth's house is right behind the church, so in and out. Okay. And you sure Lisbeth will have those files on your sister? Watch out, Sean. There are people right outside. Oh, shit. How many? Just three. A man with his kid on one side, and a woman alone on the other. Got it. Thanks. People aren't supposed to come and go around the church once the service is over. Better to avoid them if we can. There it is. Looks empty. <sighs> Let's hope so. Luckily for us, we never close our door. A closed door is a clo- Can't believe Daniel really lives in this depressing house. Oh, we did it. Now we have a little bit more time. Yes, we do. Nice work. So where are the files? Right there, in her office. Oh, of course it's locked. Her open door speech is just another lie. We gotta find a way in. Fuck. Think there's a key somewhere? Maybe she's too cautious not to have a spare set around. <sighs> Whoa. Are you okay, Jake? Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it's just so full of memories and stuff. <sighs> 
Nothing here. Does she even believe in any of this? Yes, that's the one. Oh, perfect. Whoa. Is this her personal archive or something? Yeah, she keeps track of everything in here. Stuff about my sister must be in this one. Okay, I've got something. Must be what you're looking for. Damn. She has pneumonia? And for what I get, Lisbeth knows damn well she needs medical treatment. That's criminal. She's insane. Look. She has a file on you, too. <laughs> you can take a peek. And see how she really treats her flock. Man. What's all this? Were you, like, sick? Conversion therapy? Did they... <sighs> wanted to cure you from... being... <sighs> Pretty much. I always showed more interest in boys than girls. <laughs> they thought I was a freak. A sinner. Is that why you... ran away? Yep. <laughs> Took me five years to understand what was up. I was too scared. Confused. I really did believe I was a sinner, so I... I thought I had to atone for my sins. Atone? For what sins? I don't get how they can preach this kind of crap. I mean... You met Finn and everyone. Are they sinners then? Of course not. I, I just didn't know different, Sean. I believed them. Damn, Jake. After a few years... I was in a really bad place. I, I tried to hurt myself. Elizabeth was very upset. We had a long chat. She told me I should leave. Go see the world and figure things out. I, I don't really get her, Sean. But Elizabeth does believe in all of this stuff. I had no clue about your life here. I'm... I'm sorry, Jake. I'm sorry I brought Daniel here. I was just so blown away when I saw what he could do. It was like a real miracle. I, I thought I'd, I'd found my faith again. Instead, I, I just heard him. Then let's make things right. We just have to get Daniel out of here. I hope so. And I'll get my sister to a hospital, have her treated. I hope they'll help her. Yeah. Anything would be better than here. Right. I just hope they can still cure her. Sean, are you there? <sighs> What's up? You got company. That thug who works for Elizabeth. He's just holding some files. Doesn't seem to be on to you. This guy is dangerous, Sean. Hey, Trust me. I have a good plan to get him out of your way. He'll give you more time. Just give me the word. Yeah. See what you can do. I will. Get ready. Sean, we gotta hide. Now. Hurry up. Sean, we need to hide. Man, if he finds us here, we're screwed.
Better tell Lisbeth about this. All right, let's see. Huh? What? What the fuck is going on? Sean, do you think it's got to be Karen? Oh, he's gone. Let's get out of here. Oh, man, that was crazy. I really thought he was gonna catch us. The guy's leaving. Looks like my diversion worked out. <sighs> yeah. Nice job. Yeah. Let's go. Hardcore, Sean. Yeah. I guess she is. So we're all good now? I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Then let's meet up at the car, okay? All right. You be careful, okay? You too, Sean. Good luck. Come in, Karen. See anything? No, you're all clear. Awesome. Talk later. So you know what you're gonna do? No. But let's do it. Oh, Lord. Let your power speak through this young vessel. I am your humble sure. servant and will obey what the hell your is this? every command. Speak to me. It's Daniel. Speak. I told you, he's kind of special. Hey. Sean, you came back? And I know, little cub. Come with me, Daniel. We're leaving. What? No, I'm not going anywhere. <sighs> She's full of shit, dude. And she's using you. Daniel has made his choice, Sean. But I'm offering you to join us again. Put your faith in me, and you'll be family. Never. So that's your final decision. May the Lord have mercy on your lost soul. It's time for you to leave our sanctuary right now. Not without my brother. I'm not going anywhere. This is my home. She's my family now. Daniel. Listen, she's not your family. Sean, who is she? Our mother. Uh. She came here for you. Oh, praise the Lord. Another miracle at our church. Wonderful. Uh, it's all right, Daniel. Go see her. I mean, she's right there. Don't be afraid. I... I don't know her. Of course. I know. This is hard for you, my son. Stop calling him that. You're just manipulating him, you sicko. <laughs> That's in the eye of the beholder. But since you are his mother, let me ask you. How could you let your child wander alone in the wilderness? Where were you when Daniel was lost? Where? Listen, Daniel. I came here as soon as I found out you were here on your own. I'm not on my own. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from Him. You were blessed with a divine gift. And you cast Him out into the world. Who the hell are you? You might have been His mother once, but when you abandoned Him, 
You also gave up your rights. Isn't your god all about forgiveness? You have no idea what the Bible says. How can you pretend to care about these two children? You left them and your husband to seek out your base desires. Daniel, honey, she's trying to trick you. Please, think by yourself. You're smarter than this. Daniel, she's responsible for what happened to your father. You don't know anything. It was an accident. That's what this world is about. Accidents, injustice, pain. I'm just so sorry, Daniel. I know. I know how much I hurt you and your brother by leaving. I know that's not enough, but I hope we can talk about this together. That's what I've been trying to tell your brother, and I'm so glad he listened. You gotta trust us. She's using you for her selfish desires. Daniel, this time the choice is yours. Are you going to believe her or me? I... Uh, I... That's right. You can't tempt Daniel from this garden. He'll stay with us, his true family. And we'll never leave him. Go to hell. Come on, Daniel. No! Oh! Holy shit. Reverend, are you okay? Nicholas, they're, they're heretics sent to desecrate our, our church. Okay, what now? Don't you understand? This is over, <sighs> Sean. You have to talk to him. You can convince him, Sean. I won't leave you, Daniel. Not here. Don't be so stubborn, Sean. Your brother chose his path. Your friend, Sarah Lee, she's very sick. And Lisbeth won't take her to a doctor. What? She won't do that. This is pointless. Daniel knows who to trust. Don't listen to her religious bullshit. You need to have faith in yourself, not in her. But you said heaven and God existed. Why are you lying? You're right. He's wicked, unfaithful. There's no place for you. Look around you. Do you really want this? It's fine. We've been the worst places since we left Seattle. You found your home here, Daniel. Don't let him trick you. I found a letter from Karen, our mother, inside her house. She hid it from you, so you never know she's looking for you. What? You told me she didn't want to see me. Uh, see what you have done? Hey, Inano. Back off. No one is gonna keep me away from you. I said stop! <sighs> Don't. I came all this way for you, and nobody will stop me. I'll even cross hell or whatever if I need- <sighs> Sean! He must learn. Listen, I know I wasn't a great brother. I was an asshole. I took you for granted. I put you in danger, and I'm sorry. Oh, sure. Don't listen to him. He, he left you just like that harlot did. Shut him up. He can hit me as much as he wants. I won't give up on you. Don't hit him. <clears throat> Don't let them do that, Daniel. <sighs> If I could go back in time, I would. We'd be in our living room in Seattle. That would get us pizza and snacks, then pick the movie, because we would always fight about it. 
He always picked your movie. But I can't do that. All I can do now is fight. Quiet! What are you waiting for? We're the best team in Anu. Stop so it! So we have to keep going no. forward. What are You're you gonna doing? kill him! Please! Uh, He's my brother! You can burn down our church, but not our faith. Daniel knows you're telling the truth. Don't give up. Nothing, nothing is going to stop me, Daniel. We're brothers. I know. Dad always said our blood link was the most important thing. You know that. Uh, please! Uh, stop! Uh, Leave him alone! Daniel! Listen to him. I won't stop. No matter what she does. I'll come right back. Again. And again. <laughs> I love you, baby. I do too. Shut him up! Now! Don't move! Just stop! If you want to kill me, then do it! I'm not afraid! Do it! Shoot! Don't! Go ahead! What? Shoot me in the face! And live with me! Now! someone else. I'm sorry. Sean, we need to get out of here. Now. Oh no. No. You started this fire. You will all burn in this hell. This is your fault. Your... Sean. Wait. Daniel. She really did try to use me. She hurt you. She's mad. Uh -uh. You just... she's dead. It was her or us. Open the door, Dan. Let's go. 